Before the scourge of Prohibition, Hastings was home to four breweries and one unique spiral-shaped bridge. Now, the bridge is gone and so are those breweries, but Spiral Brewing Company is holding the torch for Hastings beer in history. When Nick and Amy and I were dreaming about opening Spiral Brewery several years ago, we really didn't have a craft beer scene in Hastings or in this region in Minnesota. And we kind of opened that market up. We wanted to create a space where people could come into our tap room and learn about craft beer. They can have a cult that could lead them to an IPA quite quickly. We just want to brew for people who want to explore beer and learn a little bit about their community. Hastings was a community of brewers in its history. So we used to have about five breweries pre-prohibition. We just want to bring Hastings back to its brewing roots. My motto for every beer that comes out of the tap room is, after you finish one pint, you should want a second one. Maybe you shouldn't have it. You should still want it because it should have that drinkability that you're able to kind of keep going. In Dabbler in a Box, season four, you'll find our Towny. It's a Kolsch style ale. Uh, it's very light, crisp, refreshing, uh, slightly herbal hop note. Um, and then it's with just a touch of fruitiness from the yeast and then just a clean, uh, balanced maltiness underneath uh, meant for easy drinking. This is a beer we brew for the townies. It's also a nice tie in with the German heritage of the town. So the townie is actually brewed with 100% Minnesota ingredients. All of our malt comes from malt works. We've been able to have Lots of good back and forth with them about kind of what specs we want in the malt and being able to balance the, the four different types of malt that actually make up this very, it's a very light beer, but there's a lot of nuance in what malts are in it uh, in order to give it that malt base that we're looking for to support everything. For me, brewing with local ingredients is important to me from a standpoint of sustainability, but also there is a flavor component that is important. Whenever we're making a beer, it's about flavor in the end. Being able to have both these good local ingredients that keeps our energy and our, you know, our carbon footprint lower, we also get something that tastes great. One of our year-round beers that we are very proud of, but it doesn't get its chance to shine in the summer, is our Hard Left. I like to describe it as a half milk stout, half oatmeal stout, half American stout. It's got a little bit of the sweetness, a little bit of that smoothness like the oatmeal stout, but it's, frankly, it's too hoppy and whatever to be either of them. And it's, it's kind of a mishmash of everything, but it, works and is very drinkable. You know, we keep it in cans year round because we know there are people who want it that time, but it really shines in the winter like all stouts. You can find our beers on the shelves of local liquor stores um, in four packs, just like this townie here. Um, but you can also find our Mississippi Fog Hazy IPA, which is named for the fog that takes over the Mississippi River that's directly behind our building that you can see off of our rooftop patio, or our Downward Spiral IPA, or our Hard Left Stout on the shelves of your local liquor store. If you want to find out where to find them, you can go to our website, spiralbrewery.com slash rbeers. Thanks for visiting Hastings. Thanks for visiting Spiral Brewery. I can't wait to see you again. Cheers. <laughs>